you're saying that as you clear those, you're removing the illusion of the self is different, or, 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 or uh, you know, we have this sort of illusion of of uh, being disconnected. Yes, separate. Being separate, and uh, so as you're clearing those, that illusion goes away. Am I understanding you right? Yes, that's correct. And I, I guess I need to define the self. Would that help? Some. The, the self is the God being inside us. He said the kingdom's inside. He didn't say except some of you, you know, or <laughs> only on Tuesdays or, any, you know, it's like the whole thing is right there. So in the emergence out, we come into a state of believing we're separate, hence bodies, you know, like, well, you're you, Charlie. I'm, you know, I can tell that because you have a body and I have a different one, right? So most of us know about the spiritual comprehension of unity that we're all connected, okay? Uh, in the sanskaras, there is separateness. There are all the things that are manifest in our world collectively by our collective consciousness of experiences that we've created, impressions on the soul on the film, and then the light inside of us, unbeknownst to ourselves, shines out, projects out the movie that we have to see for that lifetime and for the other lifetimes, and we act as if they're real. <clears throat> and given the emotions that we have attached to those impressions, they sure seem real. Okay. So, the, um, the tradition has been that the only way to truly clear these out is with a teacher, you know, some big teacher. Well, that's almost, if you'll pardon, it's, it's a word I haven't used in a long time, Piscean. You know, it's like you, you had to go to a guru uh, who was here on earth, which is usually a good thing, but that was the only way that you could realize the self again without all the other stuff in the way. And, I'm sorry? Well, I'm sorry. Just, it's, it's too late. <laughs> so now you're using the Hansel and Gretel, uh, I'm joking, but if you're tracking the Samskaras, the Samskaras get you back to the true self. In a way, it's like a little trail that you leave for yourself. Yes, and you're clearing them. So you can see and feel and be in the self, veil by veil removed. So given that, to, for the return then, what does it take to clearly and thoroughly do such a clearing? It takes something that has the consciousness of that which you want to return to. So it would be something in accord with the self, which would be white light of pure being, the light that you encounter upon death, that you encounter in the interlife, that shines across the heaven worlds. It would be the light that comes from true uh, higher state beings in the spiritual realm. It would be the light that comes from true beings here who are in a body. And so that is the key. That's the, what I learned from uh, Connie Ray Andreas. That the sanskar of the child who was witnessing that abuse of sister by the father was transmuted and totally cleared out. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, there was no rescripting. There was no uh, reframing of anything. It was just the higher state coming in to the trauma that was being refelt, that was very difficult, and as soon as you counted to three to bring that in, totally gone. It's as if, and this is <clears throat> reported to me a lot, this, it never happened. It never happened at all. There's a book um, by a guy who was uh, one of the kind of prophets of the Course in Miracles. Uh, Gary Renard, he's written a couple of books. 
And he's a little, very hokey to read. He's not good at jokes. He thinks he's funny and he's not. But a lot of his stuff is, you know? Yeah, I've, seen, I've seen him speak before, too. I'm sorry? I've seen him speak live. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. But he wrote a, a book that has a great title. And I reference it in mine because it's, it's great. And it's called The Disappearance of the Universe. And that is what happens when you clear out the universes that you've created out of your fear-based orientation. So when people go through regression work in this approach that I use, and then eventually, which, and I'll describe this, um, they uh, come to uh, experiencing divine presence and clarifying or realizing the truths of what they were doing and so forth. And then you bring that divine presence that they're in back to those events. And you don't rescript. You don't go, well, now, how would you like to rewrite this movie? You just say, how are you now, given this presence with you, this light from the interlife that you were just bathing in two seconds ago? What's happening in the womb now as you carry this back with you? Oh, well, not only is it soft and fluid and warm, mom is good and she loves me and she's conscious and she's with me. Well, okay, that's wonderful. So be in that. And what about the events that took place uh, in your first visit to this life where you were terrorized or beaten or, you know, some horrible things happened to you? They don't happen. They're not there. I can't even make them up. They're gone. And so what is your life like? Now, yet I try to be careful not to encourage rational mind reconstruction. It's not that it's of no value. I just don't do that. I don't approach it that way. So they will.